And then I've got another uh, real hot heat source right here next house north under this uh, grove of trees. And I can't see real well with the infrared or the light, but there's a real hot uh, hot spot back up near the fence. Yeah, there's a lot of heat coming out of the back of that house. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to get out of the way. Jeff, can you climb up there and look over and see what you got? Nick, what on? See a Rottweiler similar in that backyard you're about to check uh, right now. Check what on? Okay, 155. 155. 14121. The British is there about to just make two dollars a lot more in the lab. And when she called the lab, it wouldn't come, so it's possibly the lab. Let's go search. Lock him in the bathroom. Keep this door shut so the Rottweiler don't come out. Levicated Eagle. The one over here should be the uh, one with the uh, hot spot in the back. My dog can't get to her dog? She doesn't know where that other dog is. Okay. You heard the elf on that side. She thinks okay. the dog might be on that side. Okay. She's not sure if it's over here. Okay. okay. Who wants to take the dog out if it comes after us? Do we pepper spray or shoot him? Pepper spray. No, don't shoot him. Put your hands up! Searching his pockets, his ass. Five five one. All right, if we uh. Five five one. He's trying to take him to Yeah, go ahead. Pulls out the bat and the pipe. Any two uh, new unit uh, area percussion hazard. Here. This dude just got arrested by us uh, on the sixteenth for meth okay. and for having a handgun. Five five four. Side that one from ten nineteen. She's saying there might be some more meth in the five car five somewhere. Five. She's not really sure or in the trunk. Okay, it's her car. No, it's his car. Okay. Not much to say. Okay. Is he, he had a whole bunch of little baggies or something. Is he saying there's might be more dope in the car? He's saying there's no more in there. Okay. What's his name? Is he pretty cooperative? I'm not going to ask you how it's going tonight because obviously not well. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my narcotics dog and we're going to put him in the car and look for any narcotics. Okay? Is that your car? Yes. Are you trying to sell the car? Yes. Okay. Let me explain something to you. If there's any narcotics in the car, you don't have to tell me if there is, but it's best if... Okay, listen to me. It's best if you tell me because what, my, what happens is when my duck finds narcotics, he just is out of wherever the narcotics is, which means he's going to probably ruin your car. Are the keys in the car? Yes. Get some gift day, huh? Where's the gift day, buddy? Where's we're going to get some gift day, huh? Get some gift day, buddy, huh? Gift day! Souk? Zook? Zook? Zook, yeah? Gift day! Zook? Zook? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, gift day! Gift day, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Gift day! Yo, gifty, yo, 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 y
gifte 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 ja ja gifte 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 oh, oh. Oh. ja 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 yeah, nice My name's Rick McCraner. This is my canine partner, Omar. I'm a police officer for the city of Signal Hill in LA County, California. Been a police officer for eight years and I've been assigned to the canine detail for five years. Omar and I started together when he was approximately 24 months old. We both attended a 350 hour patrol school. And then after that, we attended a 350 hour narcotics school. He's trained in building searches, finding suspects, finding lost people and tracking. He is also trained to detect narcotics. The four drugs he does is marijuana, methamphetamine, cocaine, and heroin. Omar and I uh, basically have worked together for the last five years. I take him home every day. He's kind of a member of the family. Him and I have had a couple of substantial uh, fines. One of them comes to mind was his largest drug seizure was 568 pounds of marijuana that was located in a garage next to a college. The next uh, one was a uh, burglary in progress at a fabric store where we responded and it was approximately 10 p.m. in the evening. So at the time my mindset was, as most of us have done, it's just a false alarm. Uh, the first unit that arrived on scene stated that they saw a suspect inside the building with the uh, open door at the rear. As I pulled up to the location, I got out with my partner, Omar. As the suspect saw me get out of my vehicle, he then ran further inside the building. And before I could get into a position where I could deploy him, he then exited the building on the far side. Because of the officers between me and the suspect, I was unable to deploy him at that time. I got back into my police vehicle, drove around to the front of the building where I saw an officer in an altercation with the suspect. The officer was seriously injured. The suspect then broke away from the officer, ran across six lanes of traffic. I was able to maneuver myself on the west side of the highway where I was able to deploy the dog who caught the suspect just as he was going over a block wall and detained him until he could be taken into custody. Police department, search warrant, demand entry. Police department, search warrant. Police, get him up, get him up, police, get police, police, get him up, police, 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 get him up, police, 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 Seats. Seats. How are you doing? Yeah. Suk. Suk. Yeah, Suk. 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 Suk here. You bring it, bring it. Oh, just pull on it, huh? Is it okay to? Is it okay? Yeah, as long as you get back, love. Pull up, see what's in here. Slide, slide, start to sliding. Some, oh, yeah. oh, some good sized rocks in there. Pull it smell that stuff, huh? Yeah, you smell it sure. So a couple scales in there. More, more inside there. A couple rocks inside there. Yep. A couple scales. You guys... other plastic baggies just ready to sail. There's a phone number in here too and a pager. You want to take this out of here? Where's the gift day, huh? Where's the gift day? Where's the gift day, huh? Platz. Platz. Sitz. Skifte. Zug. Zug. 
Zug. Zug. Zug. Zug. Oh, did it. Where's Gifte? Where's it at? Zug. Zug, yeah. Zug, yeah. Bringst. Bringst it. Where's it at? Find it. Find it. Where's it at? Bringst. Bringst it. Yeah. Bringst the Gifte. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Yeah, yeah, Bringst. Bringst. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good boy, Bringst, 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 Bringst. Bringst, bringst it. Bringst, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Bringst. Bringst. Bringst, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, Bringst. Oops. Come. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Gift day, huh? Yeah, yeah. Gift day, huh? Oh. Uh, the dog alerted here, as you saw. Saw him chewing into it. We're going to check now. Uh, where he alerted under here and see uh, what we can find. The dog definitely had uh, the scent of the drug somewhere coming from this area. And well, right down, oh, all right. Yeah, see, this is what it's all about right here. These dogs nose are incredible. This is why we use the dogs right here. Their nose tells us where the drugs are. Even, even if the officers can't see it, it's not gonna go undetected. The dogs are gonna be able to tell us where the drugs are. Here, uh, you've got uh, the cellophane and uh, aluminum foil, and wrapped inside of it is uh, what appears to be methamphetamine. I don't know what, how much is here exactly, but uh, each one of these feels to be about a pound. When I started in law enforcement seven years ago, I thought I had the best job in the world. Then I got a canine partner. I currently work with Hank the Wonder Dog, we work patrol. Initially, when I got him, I had a little reservations when I took him home. Um, it took, had a bonding process of several months, and, and when we went to school, basically my dog already knew what to do, and I had to play catch up. I'd been a policeman about four years prior to getting Hank as a partner, and I thought I knew everything. Every day I go to work, my dog teaches me something new. You can have the worst day, things are going bad, the sergeant's asking you why you did this, and how come you handled this call this way? And then you could be really, really having a bad day. You get in the car and your partner turns it all around. It's funny, you, you could ride with another human and they complain about the food, complain about the hours. You feed the dog the same thing every day. You expect him to go to work every day with you and he never complains. It's just great. I, I just, you just can't imagine what, what it is like to work with the dog day in, day out. Hey, Kev, the, uh, they said, the narc guys that I just talked to said that the dealer keeps it somewhere in the motorhome possibly because that's where he sleeps. And that, all this info is coming from the informant, but they said they don't know exactly where. Uh, they said they already searched it once, but couldn't find anything. All right, Hankster, payday, buddy. All right. That's a good boy, Hankster, that's a good boy. It worked out real well. Here we have a huge motorhome. It'd probably take a couple officers about an hour to search it. And within two to three minutes, we did an interior search of the vehicle and the dog alerted to the rear sleeping compartment. And there was a secret compartment built into the motorhome where you just pull a little piece of Velcro and the panel fell down. And there's about a half pound of methamphetamine concealed in the back compartment. 21K and 151, respond to an audible burglar alarm. Pop 
possible window smash. 9121 Chapman, across the Valley View. Futs. Okay. Futs. Garden Grove Police Department, you have five seconds to make yourself known or we'll send the police dog to find you. We just did a search. He had to go through a window and okay. his foot's cut his foot on some glass. I just want to make sure there's no glass in it and it was okay. Plutz. Oh boy. God, he's lucky that's all happened, huh? They usually get these nasty yeah. things up here. He was bleeding just... pretty good at, at, yeah, in the nasty. building. I thought, oh no. And then also he goes to Oh, yes, he is. Are you allowed to socialize, huh? Yes, he is. Are you? That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I would just keep it clean, you know, and wash for any kind of... Yeah, if it does start bleeding a lot just because he's putting weight on and it's uh -huh. spreading. It doesn't even seem like it's... It, it seems like it's probably went just straight in and okay. then bled from that, and it doesn't look like it's... Uh, yeah, I didn't notice him limping on it, really. Yeah. But I, I just want to make sure in case we were out there, start doing another search, and he starts yeah. going down on me or something like that. I don't even like think it's worth... Uh, putting a stitch or anything. Sometimes when you bandage them and then if he has to get to work, it's gonna, you know, the bandages yeah. are more of a hassle. Sook. 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 Yeah, yeah, where's the gift there? Find it, huh? Sook. Sook, sook, next, sook, 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 where's it at, huh? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at, Brinkst? Brinkst, 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 Brinkst it, yeah, yeah, Brinkst it, come on, Brinkst it, come on, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. My own nose would go crazy on that. Up, Mar Arizona. Marijuana. Uh, marijuana package for sales. Small baggies. Package for sales. This is, this is good. This is good. Uh, some speed, looks like. Probably about a quarter ounce, maybe. Cocaine. Probably about another... Uh, Maybe close to a quarter ounce, possibly. Uh, cash, 20s on a singles, which is real common just because uh, 20s, 5s, 1s are what the denominations most people have. Uh, bill rolled up for using drugs, I'm sure. Phone numbers, check for $75. That's supposedly everything in the room according to the, uh, the suspect. We're going to go back and search for any other weapons, any other drugs in the room, but I got a feeling this is probably the majority of it right here. Get there! Sook? Sook? 
Zug. Ja, ja. Zug hier. Zug hier. Zug hier. Zug. 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 Where's it at? to get the thing. Just remember where you got it when you give it to it. Okay. Just that little bit of weed that the dog hit on that was hidden underneath the uh, the carpeting in the trunk. That's why we use the dog's nose. Todd, am I clear to come in? Yes, you are. Can I come in? Come. Come. Seats. Skift it. Zug. 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 Platz. Platz. Here, here we got uh, some wrapping paper. Got baggies, individual baggies of um, marijuana. You got a scale. Platz. Some scissors. Got a plastic baggie with a little bit of, looks like methamphetamine. A little rock of methamphetamine. Let's. We'll turn this over to the NART guys get it out of our way and then we will uh, continue our search. He found his walk right in the room. And yeah, if you, if you saw, he alerted right there on the drawer, started digging into the drawer and then pulled pulled this container out in his mouth. So you can see his teeth marks on the container from when he grabbed it. And basically they're trained when they smell the drugs, any one of the four drugs they're trained for, which is cocaine, methamphetamine, marijuana, or heroin, um, that tells them that that's their toy. So when they smell it, they think that's their toy. So basically, he thought this metal box in here uh, was was his toy that he got to play with. That's why it came out in his mouth. Um, on a real real search like this, you don't want to let them have it for too long. You want to take it away from him right away. Um, if it was a training search, then you let them play with their toy. Um, but on the real situation, you can't afford to do that. It's too dangerous because if the dog does ingest some narcotics, it could uh, be dangerous for him. So basically, he thought this metal case was his toy. To give an example of how good police dogs are in the use, um, we had a situation where there was three escapees that escaped from a uh, prison bus. Uh, they were at large in the area. We had a large area to search. Uh, Thunder and I began searching an area. We started searching the interior of a house uh, where one of the suspects might have been hiding. And through the wall, Thunder was able to smell the suspect who was hiding underneath the house. Uh, so their great sense of smell, he was able to alert on the suspect from inside the house through a furnace vent, telling us the suspect was underneath the house. We were able to go out to the crawl space that led underneath the house. 
The suspect refused to come, in, come out at our orders, so instead of sending an officer in under this dark crawl space where we didn't know if the suspect had armed himself with something, we sent Thunder in underneath the house. Thunder went under the house, found the suspect. The suspect refused to give up and fought with Thunder, and Thunder was able to uh, apprehend the suspect and bite onto him and hold him until officers could get under the house. Uh, we then handcuffed the, the suspect and brought him out from underneath the house. This is a suspect that no officer would have found. We could not see him through walls. If we were shining lights underneath the house, we would have never been able to see the suspect. But the dog's great sense of smell told us where the suspect was. And with the dogs not being fearful, was able to go in underneath a dark house and find the suspect for us, keeping the officers from getting hurt. Also keeping the suspect from becoming hurt because if officers had to go under there, maybe fight with the suspect or the suspect did have a gun, we may have had to shoot the suspect. And we don't want to have to do that. So the dogs a lot of times keep the suspects from getting uh, hurt or killed um, because officers don't have to use lethal force a lot of times on occasions such as this to get the suspect to come out. So the dogs are an outstanding tool for us to use. We never have to worry whether the dog is gonna be there in a situation uh, to help us out. They will always be there for us. Uh, they're actually better in a lot of ways than a human partner. They're always gonna be there with us. They can detect things a lot better than, than a human can, and they won't let anything happen to us. Jaws, paws, and forcing the law. 